Hi, Norma. Norma, ¿me escucha? Norma. 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 Hi, Norma. Hi. ¿Me escucha, Hi. Norma? Hi. Yes. Norma, solo perdone que la, le pregunte. ¿Le dijeron ah, que ahora le tocaba a usted, Normita? Sí, me mandaron un correo, teacher. El correo, I, I share with you the, my screen. Ok. Look at. Por este medio le informamos que hemos programado la siguiente sesión de asesoría. Miércoles, ah, perdón. <risa> Eso estaba viendo ahorita sí, yo, Normita, sí. así de... Sí, esa sí, es la mía, sí, pero del 20, dice, no, no tengo pena. De todas maneras, vale. él, él, a Eli, Eli Larín, ¿se recuerda de ella? Que ella venía con nosotros desde antes. Sí. Eh, la mamita de ella está, está bien enferma, entonces, eh, por eso ella no estuvo en clase ahora. Ella era la primera, pero no se preocupe. Entonces, igual, pero sí, Normita, a usted le toca el 26 de agosto, oye. Sí, discúlpeme. No, Mira, no tengo pena. Voy a descansar. Es que voy a descansar yo no, he ingresar, ah, no he podido ingresar a la plataforma. Ok. Y yo mandé el correo porque yo tenía mi usuario. Sí. Pero recibí otro correo donde decía que tenía que usar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ajá. Ingresé con el usuario y no me dejó entrar. Capturé la pantalla y se la mandé a inglés corporativo. Sí. Pero el muchacho me llamó a una de oficina. Y yo estoy con el proceso de selección de la gente nueva, entonces sí. no le pude corresponder. Entonces no sé cómo pudiera ser porque después volví a intentar en, en yo solita restablecer la contraseña, pero sí. me deja entrar al curso, pero no me deja ver el, el para poder tra trabajar adentro ah, del curso. Ah, ok. Y Norma, Solo le puedo... Me deja ver el sí. Ah, ok. Mire, y durante el día le puedo mandar un WhatsApp. Que no sea llamada. Ah, vaya, lo que voy a hacer, Norma, es me voy a comunicar yo con los compañeros de inglés corporativo y decirles su situación y cualquier cosa yo le escribo a su, al WhatsApp, oye. Ah, está bien. Ok, vaya, Normita, Gracias. está bien. Bueno, Gracias. igualmente, Gracias. cuídese, adiós. Bye. Bye.
Hi, Oscar. Hello. Hi. Hi, again. Hi. <laughs> good. good evening again. Good evening. Oscar. Ese es su correo. Yo creo que a usted le toca el 12, Oscar. Ah, me voy. No, oh dice. <laughs> can you double check? Because I think it's the 12th of uh -huh. August. Let me see. Or it's 12. <laughs> it's not today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay, nice. Oscar. It's nice to see you any, anyway. Yeah, no, it's I, nice I to see you too. Because I haven't seen my, my email. So right. I went and, and I just went in. Right, but yeah. I didn't check the, the date. The date. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Oscar. Have a good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you.
Hi, Eddie. Hi. Hi, how Hi, are good you? Evening, good evening. Fine, thanks. Were you like you were you were um not able to finish the class, right? You got disconnected? Yes, I I have some some troubles with my internet. Right, yeah, I know. But I, I'm still in internet to my my sister in law. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. That's what family is for. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> All right, very good. So Eric, is there anything that you would like to reinforce? Like related to English or any topic that you have always like thought about or anything? Or you just want to practice your speaking? You're in an advanced level anyway. I really need a lot of practice. I, I think I I can understand very well, but right. not a structure as a sentence uh, so 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 easily all right yes. okay all it's, right very it's, good it's hard to me it's very i think i don't know i think it's just a uh, lack of practice probably i think that's what it is because you have the knowledge you have the vocabulary it's just a pr like a matter of practice all right yes yes i i, I usually i don't remember a specific word that i need right. in a sentence right that happens <laughs> it always or happens a verb right yes. okay all right do you like do yes, you practice uh-huh no but continue please uh, do you practice your english like at your work or not really no not really my 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 job doesn't require that mm. i speak english okay in, in, nothing at all oh really okay yes this is more than um, a pers personal uh, initiative. Right. Of, yes. All right. I always, I always wanted to to speak English. Okay. Fluid. So how did you learn it? <laughs> Sorry, what? How did you learn it? Because you do speak it. Mm, most. Um, uh, self study okay or this is my second module on 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 inglés corporativo ah oh, okay uh, but before i never study um study formally right just, i get it uh just the english on, that i i received on high school right then i well i, I like to listen uh tv programs okay. movies all right uh, in 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 english oh with interesting. subtitles or, or okay or without them if i i i i heard before the the the, the, the chapter or the right or the okay book. so you probably i mean you you were like self-taught then you taught yourself yeah. english yeah yes all right interesting yeah, but you know what? That's a that's a special skill because not everybody's able to do that. Probably, or or it's just a uh, 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 deep desire of right uh, <laughs> of learning it. <laughs> of learning okay. it. Yes. All right. Very good. So you took the last course with us. Then you were in the yes. intermediate three. Yes. Correct. Ah, all right, but on the other program that it was just one hour. Exactly, just one hour. Right. And Monday through Thursday. To Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Now it's a little bit hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is because it's two hours and it's every day. <laughs> but but it's good because I I always was looking for an. In intensive or intensive yeah an intensive program. yes an intensive program yeah yes yeah and of course this is perfect i think for because it implies more practice more right. yes learning yeah you know and you're like you are like stuck for like two hours in a good way and then you need to practice it you listen to it and and Every day and especially in your case that you don't really practice like at your job or anything so this is like 
the only time that you have, but you have it every day to practice it. So that's good. Yes. And and it's it's a familiar thing too because mm -hmm. my wife is in 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 classes too. Oh, nice! My son too. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so it's a family gathering. <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Okay. So is your wife taking like with us also with English Corporativo and your son too? Yes, my wife. Yes. All right. Uh, he she is on the um. Inter, uh, intermediate come is? intermediate uh, level intermediate level and my son is and he's on english for kids oh my goodness right yeah. okay yeah. okay so family learning english then yes so do you speak english like at home with your wife and your son yes a little when when we we say uh let's talk in english and <laughs> have a conversation right yeah i mean you have we someone to practice to do... with yeah yes that's nice that's a good thing yeah yeah because sometimes what happens is is only one taking the classes and the rest of the family is not really involved so it's hard for them to practice yes yes it's hard but we help each other Right, I know. Well, that's good. All right. Does she like it? Does she like English as well as you do? Yes, my wife. Yes, my son. Yeah. But we think it's good for her. Of course. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. For him, yes. Yeah. How old is he? Ten years old. Okay. Right. Okay. Almost ten years old. Almost ten. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, he's still in a very good age to learn a language. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. Especially because uh, you guys speak it. So it's like he can also practice with you too, right? Yes, that's a, that's a good thing. He, he, he watched mm -hmm. you know, my wife and me. Right. And he wants... To see my wife and I talk in English uh, when we want that he does, he <laughs> don't understand us. All right. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Now he, now we have to learn French or something. No kidding. Yeah, because he's gonna <laughs> catch up to you guys. <laughs> All right. My family is the other way around because my children, they all speak English, but my husband doesn't. So whenever we don't want him to understand something, we speak in English. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's fun because, but he knows, he knows we're talking about something that we, we, we don't want him to know, right? So he's like, ah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it is funny. Yeah. But yeah, that's true. All right. Very good. Interesting. Well, you know what? This um, support session at this level is mostly like speaking because you guys have this opportunity to speak a little bit more. All right. So maybe on like the next time around, because not, like, not every Wednesday is going to be like you again. All right. So we, we switched it or we have like divided into like everybody has the opportunity to have 10 minutes. But if the time comes around and if you're able to have like another 10 minutes, maybe you could have like some specific topic, like grammar topic that you would like to like practice or reinforce and you can let me know. But other than that, Perfect. at this level, we just do like some talking. I kind of bring up a topic and then we talk for 10 minutes. All right. So thank you Perfect. so much, Eric. That was very nice for you to join me. All right. And it was nice Thanks to have you in time. class. No, thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow in class. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye.
Hi, Henry. Hi, teacher. Hi, Henry. How are you? Fine. I'm here. I'm here. Excellent. Very here. good. <laughs> teacher, I don't know do you speak, but maybe you help me with the uh, tensor verb. I don't oh. remember the structure, the tensor verb. What do you mean? Which, which verbs? The maybe present continuous. Oh. Good, uh, All right. Yeah, I can, I can help you with that. Of course. That's why we're here for. Just let me get a piece I, of... Uh-huh. I only that the in future I use it will right and, go, go and going to right be going to okay in the very, past uh -huh. I a and d in the verb when you told in the past right when you speak in the past uh, Henry hold on just give me a second uh -huh. here when you speak in the past remember that you have a uh, two types of verbs the uh, regular ones uh -huh. and the irregular ones all right mm -hmm. so yes. uh, but with both in both cases henry you need to use a uh, did for the past when you ask or when you make negative questions i'm sorry when you make negative statements and you make questions you use did for the past all right but then the yes. verbs they have to be like when you make affirmative statements Henry, remember that it depends on the verb that you use. All right, you have to say the verb uh -huh. is simple past. What is difficult, Henry, for the uh, simple past regular verbs is the pronunciation. All right, because remember uh -huh. that when you talk about regular verbs uh, here, regular verbs, you have uh, three different pronunciations. You have the verbs that they finish in id the verb that finishes in t and the verb that finishes in d Speak. sound all right Speak. all right so all right. Uh, for example when you say um wait oh you know what i'm gonna show you quickly i think i have it uh -huh. i'm gonna show you something okay. else here but if you want you can like keep on talking to me and i'm gonna find a, a ppt i want to show you really quickly all right okay is there anything else uh, uh, besides the um besides the simple past is there anything else no the other tenses Only... you're okay i think i think but the simple past is i i have more problems ah all right okay let me let uh -huh. me see i think i found it the one i want to share with you in the future the very is the same yeah only we add right the in, the same. that's right in the future the verb is the same i i found the one i want to show you here um henry so simple past can you see it yes so regular and irregular verbs all right so remember that when we talk about regular verbs we have the eds ed ending right ED. like yeah play played work worked stay stayed mm -hmm. listen listened all right so when the, right. the spelling is not difficult because you add ed the problem is the pronunciation all right so maybe um henry you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you this one that i think this is uh -huh. gonna help you uh, remember or memorize the pronunciation uh, this chart the is, pronunciation is different yes for the regular verbs henry all right so when you take the picture yes take a picture because this is going to help you a lot when the verb finishes in t and in d in the simple present tense like want you say wanted uh-huh all right when wanted. you're wanted all right as it tal cual se escribe wanted all right when your wanted. verb finishes in p k f g h s h c h s s c and x uh -huh. Your verb, the pronunciation is going to finish in t sound. Helped, t looked, t sniffed, looked, uh -huh. laughed, okay. yeah. washed, watched, watched, kissed, danced. Watched. That's right. Fixed. Fixed. Very good. Danced. Excellent. Okay. 
All right. The and pronunciation is only T. Yeah, it's only T. Yeah, T. And then the okay. other one, the last one, is when your verb finishes in L, N, R, G, mm -hmm. V, S, Z, B, and M. The pronunciation is mm -hmm. D, like the D. Old, cleaned, offered. I, I, for me, the pronunciation is similar with T. Ah, you know what but you can do, different. Henry. Okay. For example, uh -huh. I want you to do this. Can you put your hand here on your throat, Henry? Yes. Can you put it? All right. Yes. Very good. Okay. Uh -huh. If you say the verb helped, aquí no va a vibrar nada. Nada vibra. Helped. Helped. Pero helped. si usted dice cold, uh -huh. d, d, cold, cold, hay una vibración acá. Cold. cold. Ah, okay. All right. Entonces, cuando, su, right. cuando la, la pronunciación termine en t, no hay vibración. Looked, haga los demás, póngase la manito y diga helped, looked y todos los demás y nada le vibra Help. al final. Looked, uh -huh. sneaked, uh -huh. locked, watched, 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 excellent, watched, uh -huh. kissed, no, kissed, danced, kissed. Kissed. Uh-huh. Kissed. Thanks. Excellent. Fixed. Excellent. Uh, Very good. Entonces, si usted okay. se no vibra, mientras que la otra, yes. haga la última, Henry, de esa columna, haga todos con su manito ahí para que le yes. sienta la vibración. Cold. Cold. Clean. Cold. 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 Uh -huh. Clean. Clean. Offered. Excellent. Damaged. Very good. Love it. No, loved. Just loved. Loved. Excellent. Loved. Uh huh. Just, used. 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 Uh huh. Amazed. Uh, amazed. 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 Very good. Yes. Amazed. Proved. Rubbed. Rubbed. Climbed. Clay, uh, Rubbed. Climbed. Climb. Okay. Uh -huh. I practice. Right. Yeah, you have to practice. Let tomo photo. Yes, I take. All right. Yeah. You, you, did you take the picture? Yeah, that's gonna help yes. you, Henry, for the pronunciation okay. of the uh, the okay. regular verbs. All right. And then the irregular right. verbs that you have to memorize them. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Henry. Thank you for being with me. All right. Okay. See you. See you tomorrow. Practice your pronunciation, all right? Yes, I practice. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jose Luis. I'm sorry. I... That's okay. That's okay, Henry. A ver, ya, ya va a salirse Henry y eso no nos quedamos con José Luis. Hi, José Luis. How are you? José Luis, your microphone is on. Okay, that is done. Hi. <laughs> how are you, José Luis? You're talking and it. talking. <laughs> No, talking, talking, I am okay. muted. No kidding, eh? <laughs> so, yes, for Rosina. That's okay. It's, not, it's, you know, it's late, that's why. All right. Jose okay. Luis, is there any topic that you want me to reinforce with you or that, that, that you need help with? For example, with Henry, we were practicing the pronunciation of the uh, regular verbs for simple past. But if, I mean, we can, I can help you with any of the topics that you need help with. All right. So feel free to ask or we just practice your English. All right. Mm -hmm. anyway, I, I would like to, to have a support with the, because I have problems and like with either and neither. Ah, the either, neither. All mm -hmm. right. Let's see. You know yes. what? Uh-huh. All right, we're going to, we're yeah, actually, because, the, yeah. the, because norm, uh, or normally when, when so 
don't want to say I am um, I am hungry and I answer me too, but I think uh -huh. the correct way is the, the other the other right. part. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So usually, uh, Jose Luis, what happens is, for example, if I say something negative, for example, I say, I don't like pizza, you cannot say me too, because my, uh, my mm -hmm. sentence or my statement is negative. Now, you are agreeing with me because you agree with me, but in a negative way, just like the way I was saying it. So I say, I don't like pizza. So you have to answer me neither. All right? Me, me neither. neither. Me neither would be your answer. Me neither. Me neither. All right? Because I say, me neither. Okay. I, it, yeah, I don't like pizza. You can say me neither, or you can say neither. I mean, neither do I. Neither do I. Right. And it's not necessary to put the, the name. No. Yes, neither, neither do I. That's right. And then you're agreeing with me that we don't like pizza. We both don't like pizza. All right. Now, if Only I. Uh -huh. the, if I if I say I am I am not hungry. Uh huh. Me neither. You, uh -huh. Me neither. Uh huh. Or, or okay. neither or. Uh huh. I am I am hungry neither. No, neither am I. Or I am. Only neither am I. Uh, it's very I. short, Jose Luis. It's very short. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So for example, if I say I won't go to the cinema neither will i all right so you need to use jose luis uh, it, it, the it, same it thing i'm saying the... ah okay mm -hmm. it so depends the uh -huh. their auxiliar that's right perfect our... yes jose luis all right so if my sentence is i didn't go you say neither did i because my neither sentence was I. I said i didn't all right, so you say, neither did I. If mm -hmm. I say, I am hungry, you say, neither am I. If I neither say, I. will not oh. uh, study, you say, neither will I. So when you use neither, yeah, Jose Luis, yeah. you need to match it with the same auxiliary that I used in my negative sentence. Or uh, you only say, okay. me neither. All right, me neither is for everything. Doesn't matter if I'm talking in simple me past, neither. in simple present, in future, doesn't matter. Only me neither. I didn't go, me neither. I won't go, me neither. I am not hungry, me neither. All right? But that is the very yes, short me, form. me and neither. That's right, for everything. <laughs> All right? Uh, but, because yeah. it, it's normal, I, I, I have a Sometimes I have the problem and mm -hmm. I, I hear I hear other people that uh -huh. say me too. But, uh -huh, no. but I think it's not a correct. It's not correct. But you know what, Jose Luis? We make the mistake also in Spanish. If you pay attention mm -hmm. to people speaking Spanish, they make the same mistake. <laughs> yes. It's, it's funny, yeah, but they shouldn't. It's like no thing yo no tengo hambre yo también no es yo tampoco all right so yes. <laughs> spanish also but yeah, it's, it's, yes but it's normal and yeah. when you talk with uh, with someone that speak english very well that how do you say se da cuenta you realize you realize of the mistake mm -hmm. yeah you it, it yeah Sometimes I I have a problem with this with this sentence neither and either and neither. Yeah, I know, but you know what? I think you understood it now. Remember that me neither is very easy because it's me and neither. Very easy. Yes. Me and neither and that's it. That's it. Okay. But hold on. But um for the other one, neither, you say neither plus the auxiliary plus i all right so if, for example I. you say i can I, if i say to you i have never been to guatemala what would you tell me neither neither am i no listen to my sentence no i, I have never been i have never been to guatemala neither neither have i that's right. That's right. All right. 
Neither okay, have it I. It depends. Then. It depends on the auxiliary. Uh, okay. All right. Now, you use it on affirmative, right? Because I say, I have never been. And you say, neither have I. Mm -hmm. You don't say, neither, neither haven't I. No, neither have I. But you use no, the auxiliary. Neither have I. If uh, okay, I, I am you. not go, I'm not going to go to school, what would you tell me? Could you repeat me, yes. please? I, if I say, I am <laughs> not going to go to school. Neither, neither me? But or... the auxiliary? I am not. Neither I do. No, listen, listen. I am not going to go. Ah, uh, uh, I'm not going. Neither, neither I'm not. Neither am I. Neither am I, yeah. Uh, neither am I. Mm. Right, because I'm using I am okay, not I have, going to. Mm -hmm. I am not. Okay, I need I, I need to practice this. Yeah. <laughs> because I always have problem with this. Right. <laughs> yeah, Jose Luis, but you know what? You you have to pay the, the, the clave, the, the key is to listen to the auxiliary on the sentence. If you listen to the uh -huh. auxiliary, you will not have problems, all right? But you have to pay attention uh, okay. to the auxiliary I'm using. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah, so you just need to I, practice. It's a matter of practicing, Jose Luis. Okay, thank you. Yes, that is no. good at this, uh, this time, in this 10 minutes, because uh, you, uh, I think all, everybody have a dose yes. with, with something that is difficult. That's right, and I know. So it, it's perfect. Yes, it's very good. This 10 yes. minutes. <laughs> I know, they're super. I appreciate that. <laughs> No, and I appreciate yes. <laughs> you being you being in in here because you're interested in your learning, and that's it. Yes, and after me is another person. You finish no, at eleven. No, no, I finish with you today. Ah, I am the yeah, so the, the last the one. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. but it's nice. No, I enjoy it. Yes, it's nice. Um, and your. And your class are interesting too because oh, you are sick very clearly. Oh, yes, thank you. I, I like your your class. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, Jose Luis. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> you were again. All right. Okay. Yeah. So thank you for being here with me tonight. I know it's very late and you're tired. So I will see you tomorrow okay. in the normal class. And practice the Okay, music, okay? thank you. Perfect. Okay, Jose Luis. Yes, I I, I will. All I'm right. Ready. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. You're much. very welcome. Good Bye. Good night. And okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye.